Hello everyone, this is Umka Pala. Welcome back to my another amazing tutorial. In this video, we will talk about CC particle world in After Effects. You might have seen these kind of videos for background videos or overlays. These videos are created by using CC particle world. But in this video, I'm not gonna show you how to make this kind of background videos. There are lots of videos about this on the YouTube. We will make some other stuff like this. Yeah. You can also make this with the help of particle world. So let's get started. So this is my After Effects screen and I imported the files which I'm gonna use for this tutorial. So this is our background video. So let's drag our background video on the timeline. Let's make it small. Our composition is Full HD. Now uh, also import our both leaves, we don't have to see it, so hide them. Now let's create a black solid layer. Now go to effects and presets and search for CC particle wall. Now as you can see, there are two particle types. One is CC particle system and another is CC particle wall. Now the difference between both of them is particle system gives you 2d effects that means it does not have a z-axis and cc particle world is a 3d effect you don't have to convert any layer into 3d while working with this so i'm using particle world for this tutorial drag a particle world and apply it to your black solid and let's name it particle 1 now click on the particle 1 layer and go to the effects and control now you can see some things appear on the screen side of background footage so that you can clearly see what's happening now hit spacebar and see what it is looking like you can see the particles are coming from the middle of the screen now let's understand the effect and controls for the cc particle world on the grid and guides now uncheck these both options you can keep them if you want you can change the grid subdivision and size from here now let's move to the birth rate Birth rate is the amount of particles appearing on the screen. So let's set the value of birth rate to 0 0.050 because we are creating the leaves falling effect. So we don't need that much amount of leaves. You can change this anytime. Now set the longevity to 5. Longevity is the duration of the particles. Now the amount is 5. That means it will stay for 5 seconds on the screen and then it will disappear. Now let's move to the physics directly. We will see producer later. Let's open the physics tab and set the animation to direction axis. That means the particle will come from the particular direction. You can change the direction by changing the X triangle. Now let's open the producer. You will get position and radius option. Let's move the position somewhere here. And let's change the radius now. Now let's play it. Now you can see our particles is coming from the top left and going to down but we don't want our leaves to fall like this so now let's change the velocity to 2 now increase the gravity to 0.8 decrease it to 0.7 now change the resistance to 0.5 change these lines to leaves Open the particle and change the particle type to texture quad polygon. Uh, now you can't see any line or particles on screen. Now open the texture and change the texture layer to a leaves layer. Now you can see the small leaves. Now let's make a leaves little bit bigger. Change the value of birth size to 0.5. Do same for the death size. Change the size variation and max opacity to 100. Uh, you can also change the number of loops. Let's make it 0 0.150. Now let's turn on our background layer and play it. You can see the leaves falling but you can't see it properly. So you have to add a little bit color correction to the background and the leaves. So now go to the effects panel and search for lumetri color and drag it to your footage. Now you can adjust the setting as your personal preference. Now let's color correct our leaves. 
again apply lumetric color to a particle and change the setting as you want now let's play it that's looking better than before now let's make a duplicate of particle 1 by pressing ctrl D and change its texture layer to the other leaf and also change its position and color correct it now to make this look more better we will add some motion blur so turn on this icon right here so now let's play it now your tone fall is ready we can also make smooth fall or rainfall with the cc particle world but for today this is it hope you enjoy this tutorial hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll bring more tutorial like this every week so till then stay creative